what's up everybody how you how's it going i'm just going to go ahead and talk about this because a lot of people are talking about uh the support by corporations donating money to uh black lives matter keep this in mind i want to address an issue here that's been concerning to me and a lot of the things that people should know before they take their money which they did regardless of what you may think about it now amazon for example uh decided to donate 10 million dollars but there was an incident where a whistleblower who basically came out and said that the working conditions in amazon are pretty bad and he actually and i thought it was a really interesting interview he talked about this issue his name is chris smalls and he's an african-american and the fact that he had to come out of his way to basically tell amazon that this has been going on for a while and we need to do something about it because one of his fellow co-workers was infected by COVID-19 and got sick. And he wanted the place to be desanitized. But the problem is they wanted, to, they wanted them to continue working. And Chris Smalls had to whistleblow this to the media. And you know what the, uh, Amazon did after that? They fired him. He basically protested the issue about Amazon. And the fact that he wanted to try to unionize the issue, but the problem is Amazon basically fired him because he, well, went out of his way to uh, blurt out the issue. And the fact that they say they care about black lives, but, but they don't really care about him in particular because he was a whistleblower. And the fact that this is something that kind of shows that most corporations don't really care. Now, there's a lot of businesses that have been uh, associating themselves with China and the fact that did they really support what China is doing? The fact that I, I don't know why, and this is something that needs to be brought up, and, and, the, and the fact that people should talk about this, and this is on Human Rights Watch. China is COVID-19 discrimination against Africans. Yes, they had been evicting and refusing service in Gozon. Even McDonald's had to uh, apologize for what happened in China because the Gongzhou province has been discriminating black people. And you may notice that this was something. We've been informed that from now on, black people are not allowed to enter restaurants for the sake of your health. Consideration, notify local police of medical isolation. Please understand. And they went so far to basically um, force them out of the street make them and tell them to get out of this get out of the country is this the right thing to do 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 businesses obviously are aware of this issue what's going on in, in a certain province in China no they're not aware of this they don't care but yet they they don't acknowledge this issue and it's surprising that they should know because this is this has been happening for months now and black people are being discriminated against but they what did blizzard do nothing because of the fact that blizzard is supporting blm but the fact is why are they not supporting why are they trying to uh divert all this giving this money to to them without even realizing that china has been discriminating black people and they say they were going to fight racism but when it comes to China, not so much because they're taking their money. That's what I'm just pointing out. It's same with with uh, Blizzard Activision. Blizzard Activision, it's the same thing too. They're taking their money. They're putting their games out there. It, even a lot of the companies associating themselves with China are doing this. And do they really care about black people? Not really. And it just goes to show you that. And I'm just saying this because you could probably disagree with me on this, but at least they're trying to, to, to give you money to band-aid the situation. And Airbnb. Oh, yes. Airbnb had a, a drama where three African-Americans got arrested by, over an, an Airbnb rental. And it's kind of silly, though. It's weird that, that this happened. And, yeah, it, it put them in danger in, in California. 
in near, near a neighborhood, as you can see. You can look up this uh, news report. And it's kind of sad that there are other instances that happened before. Um, keep this in mind. Even Starbucks. You, you may recall that two black men were arrested in Philadelphia last month after a manager called 911 on them because they don't order anything. Men said they were waiting on an acquaintance and they were later released with no charges filed against them. Starbucks CEO apologizes to the company and yeah, that did happen a long while back. You may recall that Starbucks did that. Calling on black people that were just literally sitting there waiting for a friend. So yeah, do they really care about black people? Not so much. And that's what happened. Do you think all these businesses care about you? No, they don't. They, they really don't. And yet, Apple is associated with themselves with China, donating money to this. Away, same thing. They're, they're associating themselves with China, doing business there. Coca-Cola, maybe. Facebook, um, yeah. <sighs> this is something that this is something that should be looked into and the fact that a lot of these companies and I'm just saying this this is just a few examples there's a lot of list of uh, examples of black people being discriminated by and also um, taken advantage of in companies and yet people should talk about this do they but the question is do black lives really matter to these corporations and that's the question you should ask yourselves because this is a lot of stuff that, that's been happening. And a lot of these companies may look like they're saints, but they're really not. And I'm just telling you guys this issue. So anyways, leave your thoughts down below and tell me what you guys think is I have to go. Bye-bye. Because I'm just pointing out the issue and that's all. So take care. Bye-bye.